True sit yaks, I in chat, his stuck shit, la hoset, new channel flat. Hello, it's I in chat here, coming to you from, from Ottawa, from the Assembly of First Nations uh, office in unceded Algonquin territories. Greetings to all my health sick relatives up there in Bella Bella. I'm very sorry I'm not able to be there with you today, participating in this important community feast. I understand that the feast will highlight the great bounty of your beautiful territories and seas. This is what our culture and rights are all about. I commend you for exercising and affirming our rights connected to our lands, our waters, and our territories, to our cultures and our identity. I encourage all of you to thoroughly enjoy this time together, honoring our past and being so clear and firm in our future direction as Indigenous peoples. This is an important event for your community, and be assured that I am with you in spirit and all of us at the Assembly of First Nations are behind you 100%. As First Nations people, we need to stand together and fight the good fight, making sure that we are never left behind, especially when talking about resources in our traditional territories. My role and that of the Assembly of First Nations is to stand with you and stand behind you. You've been very clear in your opposition to development that does not reflect your principles of sustainable development and environmental protection. I stand with you and support your work. As you know, the joint review process is a process not of our making and completely inadequate in, ter in terms of reflecting our rights and title. Yet still, our voices must be heard. I applaud your commitment to bring your voices forward and encourage you to work towards other processes and avenues so that First Nations are fully at the table, driving recognition and implementation of our rights and responsibilities to the environment and building our economies. The UN Declaration sets clear standards and requirements to work with us in partnership and requires the standard of free, prior and informed consent. This requires a full and meaningful relationship up front and at the outset of any development in our territories. In order to create the environment for our citizens, communities and economies to thrive, we must continue our efforts to raise the collective understanding of Indigenous rights in relation to development and the economy. Collectively, First Nations are not opposed to development, but we do not believe in development at a cost to future generations. As we continue to advocate for the full implementation of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, we continue to push for recognition of Aboriginal rights and title in a way that will unleash the full potential of our peoples. And this is a win-win for everyone. After all, First Nations have been balancing development opportunities with our sacred environmental responsibilities for generations. The UN Declaration recognizes the right of Indigenous peoples to maintain and strengthen our relationship with our traditional lands and territories, waters and coastal seas and other resources and to uphold our responsibilities to future generations in caring for these territories. By engaging with our nations up front, understanding can be forged and trust can be developed and earned. This in turn creates the conditions for mutual and sustained benefit as opposed to perpetual conflict. When free, prior and informed consent is addressed, it provides the necessary certainty for economic development to flourish, supporting First Nations interests and those of our partners in government and industry. This new path provides an avenue for mutual understanding. Building effective First Nations governments is the key to moving forward in all of our struggles. It's also a pursuit for healthier, safer and more prosperous communities, ensuring our people get jobs and economic benefits when development of resources occurs on our lands. I understand that you are in the early stages of some new work on a Helsinki constitution. This is a great example of how we will build on those new communities, build new opportunities that are based on our rights and our responsibilities, so that our children will see a new dawn. I congratulate you on this effort, and I look forward to hearing more. This is the way forward, engaging all our peoples at the community level in the change that we must achieve. Let's never forget the guidance of our elders and ancestors to fight courageously for what is ours and never become discouraged or accept defeat. Once again, the Assembly of First Nations stands behind you in all of your efforts. I hope you enjoy a wonderful feast and I look forward to seeing you all sometime very soon. Tu, click go, click go. Thank you.